Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. Lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. If you like that kind of stuff, we would love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great DIY content. Today's a fun video. I'm going to upcycle some wine bottles into some candy corn Halloween decor. Really simple DIY. You can do it in an evening and they look beautiful out for the fall uh, season. So let's get started. If you have a stash of wine bottles, go in and grab a couple and let's do this project. First thing I'm going to do, take off the labels, give it a really good wash, and then I'm going to coat it with my homemade chalk paint. When you're painting glass, you want to make sure that you're using chalk paint. It adheres the best to a glass surface. I find when I use just latex paint or acrylic paint, it doesn't bond well to the glass and it'll chip and crack. I've put two coats on the wine bottle and now it's all ready to paint up to look like candy corn. And I'm just going to use my acrylic paint to do this technique. You can put your acrylic paint on top of your chalk paint, but make sure you're using your chalk paint as your base. Now I'm just going to eyeball this. You can actually use some tape around the bottle if you'd like so you know you have a straight line. But I kind of want to have it kind of rustic looking. I don't want it to look perfect. So I'm just using my brush and I'm going to go all around the whole bottle where I think I want to have the yellow. And if you want to, you can always measure it too. Get out your ruler and measure it into thirds so you know exactly where each of the three colors you want to land on the bottle. But I'm just eyeballing it and that's kind of the way I roll. I just kind of like it rustic and not perfect. Okay, so I have the first coat all done. Now for the second coat, I'm going to use a sponge. And I'm just going to sponge on all over that first coat of the yellow after it's dried. And I can take it and I can do more of a precise line along the top. I also like to sponge on this second coat because it kind of gives it a stippled kind of textured look. And I love that for this project. Okay, and I'm doing three bottles for this um, DIY. I've got them all painted with two coats of yellow and now we're ready to put on the orange. Same technique as I did with the yellow. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it where I think that I want it and just paint it all around the bottle. Again, if you wanna use some painter's tape, this is where you can put the painter's tape around where you want it and then paint up to it and you'll have a nice crisp line. I don't wanna have a crisp line. I kinda wanna have it just kind of not very even and after I've finished putting on this first coat, I'm gonna go back with the sponge. I'm gonna sponge on the second coat and go around the edge of that orange and give it more of a neater line. You can also do these projects on vases, on some mason jars, on some pickle jars, anything that you've got in your recycling bin, you can make this candy corn pattern on and it'll look fantastic. I have all three bottles done. They're th completely dry and I'm going to make some hang tags for these. This is just some MDF board that I've cut into squares that I love making tags out of. I've painted them with some homemade chalk paint and this is the graphics that I'm going to use. These are really cute for Halloween. I love these graphics and they're available in my Etsy store. If you want to purchase them and make this project for yourself, head over there to my Etsy store. Make sure you use the code SAVE50 because you'll get 50% off all of my graphics over there. And I'm going to use my Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer method on these tags um, and then hang them from the bottles. I'm using my Mod Podge mat, and if you've been following along, I love this process. I've done all kinds of it, and I have lots of tutorials on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below so you can get a more in-depth explanation of how I do this. But basically, I've loaded my graphics into my Word program, size them up to the size that I need, print them off on regular computer paper, and then use the Mod Podge mat to transfer them onto your surface. You want to make sure when you're applying them to the surface, you get out all the wrinkles and air bubbles, and then you're going to set them aside and let them sit overnight and dry, um, and then we're going to rub the paper off. I thought these would look really cute with a little bit of jute twine. This is just jute twine that I've picked up at the dollar store. I'm going to wrap it around three or four times and then cut it and then just tie it and unravel the ends, and I think that looks really great on this bottle. kind of gives it that rustic farmhouse feel. 
I've got some burlap ribbon and I'm gonna make a little bow to also put on to the top. Just gonna cut it down to the size that I want and then I'm just gonna accordion fold it in and out and in and out until I get to the bottom so it looks like a little bit of a bow. These are really rustic, they're not fancy. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of twine and just wrap it around um, tightly and then I'm gonna take my glue gun and just glue it all together at the back and then I'm going to glue it onto the bottle, just using regular um, hot glue. I love the Gorilla hot glue, um, and it adheres really well and sticks well. And then I'm just gonna trim it down to the size that I want it. Okay, my tags have sat overnight. They're nice and dry. I've just dampened the paper so you can just start to see the graphics, and then I'm rubbing off all of the paper, and you're left with the cutest Halloween tags. Gonna drill a hole in the top, to string through some twine to tie them onto the bottles and our project is almost finished. Let me know down in the comments if you're more of a traditional Halloween decor or you like spooky, scary, um, or if you don't even really decorate for Halloween, you just kind of decorate for fall. I kind of like the traditional Halloween. And they're all finished after I tie the little tags on. And I love them. I gave everything a coat of polyacrylic sealer after they were all finished to seal them up and they're ready to display in my Halloween decor. And there's a simple, easy DIY that you can use using wine bottles out of your recycling bin to create really cute Halloween decor. See you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.